Here is Waltraud. Yeah. Welcome, dear Waltraud. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. And thank you for organizing this and making it possible that we can speak to so many people. Hello, good afternoon or good evening. I saw there are people from Europe and from all over the world. And I'm happy to guide you through a Jin Shin Jitsu self-help this um, afternoon, this evening. Um, we will um, talk about the lung function energy. And because it is, you know, we are all locked in, but we can go out and we can go for a walk. And that's so important. And I just want to start already with the first step of that lung energy. So you can already start practicing. And while we talk, while I talk. So the first, um, the first step is my left hand is holding my left 14 and the 14 is right there at the lower rib cage and the right hand is holding the left 22 and i will show you a slide to for this okay oh so this is how this is where you find the energy locks on your body and i want to talk about the lung function energy because it is so important that we still go outside and walk because um movement and walking um, strengthens our lung function energy and this is very important to strengthen our immune system the lung function energy is where the outer world meets the inner world. And now we are in a way forced to not to go out so much, to more dive into our inner world and to retreat. And that's also a function of the lung function energy. I was... Um, surprised when I when I read um, through the Taoistic wisdom and they said that the major um, facets for healing is meditation, going inward, connecting to our source, connecting to our higher self, connecting to that universal a source where we all come from. They give seven steps of healing in the Taoistic way of healing. And the first and major step is meditation, is reliquio. That means to reconnect back to the source. That is one of the major aspects in healing. The, seven, the second major part for healing is breathing breathing that means through our breathing we receive universal energy we receive the life breath that we are we are receiving the connection to the universal cosmic power that is then running through our body so we are breathing in also oxygen and this life force or life energy. A second part of the breathing function is that this life force and this oxygen is being brought into our system to the bloodstream. And from the bloodstream, it goes into the cells. So the heart and the lungs are connected. And as we hold these two places, we are connecting our 14s at the rib cage with the 22s. The 14s open our diaphragm energy and the diaphragm is very important for breathing. We're supposed to 
inhale down into the diaphragm, into our belly, all the way down, even to the feet. When we inhale, the 14 also helps to massage the internal organs of digestion. So when we inhale and the diaphragm is moving, we are also massaging our organs. The 22s help us to be happy wherever we are. It helps us to adapt to any situation that we cannot change right now. And we are all in a situation right now, all over the world in the same situation that we cannot change right now. We are in the social distancing. That means we cannot meet, but we are allowed, we are allowed to go out. We are allowed to go for a walk and to breathe and to reconnect with that universal energy. And the air is so clean and it's so quiet outside. The lung function energy connects the outer world with the inner world. It's through the breathing that we harmonize our thinking, our emotions, and our body. The outer world is connected to the inner world. Oftentimes, we just go out, 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 and we do not take time to retreat. Two function of the lung energy. One is to retreat, to withdraw, like in fall, nature is receding. Another one is connected to sadness and grieving. Grieving is saying goodbye, is helping us to detach from things. Now we are forced we are forced by the universe to retreat. If we cannot go outside, go inside. We are forced to go inside and find the treasure that is there. Find that beautiful being that I am. Listen to the breath. Mary Burmeister said, breathing, the breathing, the breath is the ultimate healer. In that little break between exhalation and inhalation, healing takes place. So the Taoist healings, in the Taoist healing, they say the most important thing for healing is meditation. The second important thing is breathing. The third important factor is movement. That means modalities for inner movement of the breath. Yoga, Tai Chi, Jin Shin Jitsu helps us to move the breath through the body. But also, also outer movement, 
going out and walk is necessary. We receive more life energy, we receive more oxygen, the cells are working better, we exhale the toxins and waste products, and we strengthen our immune system. So I want to go over to the second step that we do to help the lung function energy, which is holding our energy lot number 18. The 18 at the ball, at the thumb of the, the ball of the thumb, that belly, that fish belly, and we're just holding it. I hold it with my thumb now, and then I place my hand again on safety energy lock number 14. Since the 18 is an energy lock along our um, lung flow, because the lung flow flows from the body through the lungs into the arm and then into the thumb and into the index finger. And so holding our 18 and then going back here to the 14. And you can lean back in your chair and be very comfortable or you can also lay down so you can relax. Eighteen helps us to develop body consciousness. That means it helps me to really feel what I need, to really feel my needs, to really feel what my body needs. You know, oftentimes we don't feel it anymore. And sometimes when we feel it, we don't act according to it. For example, I feel that I'm tired, but I'm not going to sleep. Oftentimes, we do not feel hungry anymore, but we continue eating and overeat. Or maybe we don't want to go out today, but we still go out with our friends and we always step over our own boundaries and push us to something that we don't really feel right now. And now is the time where we really can start to learn to feel. Harmonious breathing leads to harmonious thinking and harmonious emotions. Even if we have fear or other feelings that are uncomfortable, just try to locate them in your body and feel which area of your body is affected by the emotion. And then you can guide your breath to that area and to that feeling. And you can really feel and really notice what is going on. And feel that emotional pain. You can also do that if you have physical pain. Just breathe into it. And as you exhale, Give it to the universe. Give it out to the universe and let the cosmos must handle it.
as you do the exercise, drop your shoulders. Now we are moving from 18 to number 11. Energy lock number 11 is right on top of the shoulder. And you drop your other shoulder and get comfortable again in your chair. What is happening? Okay, <laughs> now I got it. Oops, no, 11. Yeah. 11 helps us to let go. 11 helps us to have relaxed shoulders. It receives cosmic energy. And the 22s that we were holding at the beginning guides that cosmic energy through our body. Our lung function energy is also connected to the emotional body and to the planet Venus. And Venus brings the ability to see the beauty in our life. Are we always looking at the things that are not working so well in our lives? Or are we seeing the good things? It helps us to see love and be love. And compassion. It helps us to develop a common sense. The knowing that everything will be good again. At the end of the tunnel, there will always be the light. There will be an end to this crisis and everything will be good. Develops the trusting. Trusting in my life path. Tr trusting that I am guided. Whatever may happen on the path, at the end, everything will be good. I will be exactly there where my life path is taking me to. Now we can go to the other side and just for a moment hold the 14 and the 22 again. And we just relax into our chair or lay down. 
And as my hand is on the solar plexus area, I'm also harmonizing all the stress and the adrenaline. Putting our hands on the body helps us to go within and feel. And I like to go into my heart. I like to bring my awareness into my heart. The heart is the seat of the spirit. It's the source for the light that comes in. I like to feel into my heart and locate this light in my heart. That divine light through which I'm connected. It's for me, it's like an artery to God or an artery to the source where the light comes through. with unconditional love. We are actually beings of light. And that is the chance of these times now. That we focus on that shift towards the light. And as the, the light enters the heart, the blood takes it throughout the whole body. And there is a little poem from Rumi. The very center of your heart is where life begins. The most beautiful place on earth. And with this sentence, I like to say goodbye and wish you a very good day. And thank you for listening. Thank you, Ali, for supporting me and supporting everybody. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for the beautiful meditation. Thank you. I hope that our friends from all over the world have practiced and that they feel the breath uh, running through their bodies in such a beautiful and deep way. Thank you so much, Waldrop. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome.